It may have taken some time for it to finally happen, but Gameloft have finally busted out their first Unreal Engine powered title for the App Store. For many people, such a thing is a minor concern because, and let's be honest, Gameloft titles have been far from ugly thus far. Wild Blood rides in on the heels of previous titles like Hero of Sparta. However, instead of beating up gods, you'll crack the skulls of various demons in this Arthurian legend based beat em up. First and foremost, Wild Blood feels solid. Nothing really feels out of place as you gracefully jump from enemy to enemy, deploy powerful spell attacks and soak up the coins, while gathering your bearings and moving on. It's a rote execution of the game, but one that's only slightly hampered by the sluggish camera that has a tendency to point in the wrong direction whenever possible. Much like other genre classics, you'll find yourself picking up a handful of weapons, each with its own spin on the fire, ice and lightning spells you can deploy. Of particular note is the bow that requires a bit of aiming on the part of the player, as it's not quite a fire and forget weapon, and feels almost like a pocket sniper rifle if you happen to level it up. In fact, leveling up is where you'll be deploying most of your hard earned cash, with each weapon having individual stats and spells to level up. Do you think the claymore is too slow? Start specialising in the twin axes and you'll chop down enemies just as fast, spinning and charging as you please. If you happen to get sick of chopping down huge demonic creatures and their hordes, you can take the fight online and pair up with other players in a team deathmatch mode. Teamwork is essential as you fight to control temporary bonuses to outscale the enemy. It's not high strategy, but it's fun to fight something other than the mindless AI drones. Unfortunately, you'll be doing a lot of that in the single player, and even the wonderfully varied worlds and enemies can't stem that feeling of having done all this before. Enter area, destroy all enemies, move on. The addition of puzzle chests is a nice idea, but instead of building on the experience, it brings the otherwise frantic pace to a crawl. Thankfully, your second time through the game, if you choose to play the harder mode, will be more streamlined as a result. Repetition aside, Wild Blood still manages to keep you hooked with its brutal action gameplay. It's great to see something so fresh from Gameloft, and those itching for some beat-em-up gameplay now have a genuine must-have to check out. This has been Andrew with AppSpy.com. We review, you decide.